Hi, I'm Max Pab, and today I'm going to be ranking Flavors Dolls. If you don't know what Flavors Dolls is, I hope, number one, I'm saying it right. Number two, <laughs> um, they're dolls made by Mattel, and they're a bit controversial because I think they're, like, I don't know, stereotyp- stereotyping, like, hip-hop. They're supposed to be hip-hop dolls. Um, I, I don't know much about them. I, I think they were short-lived. There were a few lines, so I'm surprised that, like, it's considered short-lived, but I, I don't know how many years it lasted. Um, but they yeah are are cool and interesting and i think they're really cool um i I don't i don't know about hip-hop um quite young but uh i'm not ranking it off of accuracy ranking it off of um if i like the looks of them i think flavors dolls are cool because one they have an interesting articulation type i have two of these dolls and none with their outfits um so they have like an extra joint in their waist and like upper arm uh i think they have our uh arm and elbow i don't think they have wrist but they have rubber legs and so when i found the flavors doll i was like what is this doll um yeah, so I have two of them, none with their outfits. Honestly, I would love to have them uh, in somewhat of a complete condition. Um, I don't know how much they go for, but uh, yeah, these are just some dolls that I really like. I'm going to go talk about them so that I don't go and buy a million of them. Um, <laughs> so yeah, let's let's begin. I would also like to say that surprisingly, as much as I often put a lot of the boy dolls at the end, quite a few of the boy dolls made it to the top of the list. Some of them just don't have, they're not my favorite outfits. Um, but some of the boy dolls that made it higher on this list have really nice outfits. And it's what I wish we would see more um, for, you know, male dolls. Because male dolls can look nice. They just don't really ever put an effort Anyways, we're starting off with Liam. I don't know about quality for these dolls. I don't know if their quality is bad or good. Um, It looks nice here um, on the dolls that I've seen, but I don't, I don't know. I, his outfit is super plain. Also, uh, last disclaimer, um, for these dolls when I was going over them I hope that I got all the dolls but if I'm missing any please let me know because some of these were really difficult to find and then secondly I think they come with two outfits some of the dolls I'm only showing one because I could not find um a photo of the dolls in box so just keep that in mind like this one here he comes with a second outfit and I because I couldn't find it I can't base it off of that but yeah I don't love this outfit I I think it's like quality is nice, but it's, it seems boring to me. And I think if there was a second outfit to be able to change out pieces and do that, I think it would be better. But sorry, Liam. I, I don't know how many Liams there are. Um, but yeah. Then we have Trey. Also, again, sorry if I pronounce any of these names wrong. <sighs> Trey has some really nice dolls. This one is plain to me. Um, yeah, I just, I don't love the look here. I do really like jean looks, so I'm surprised that I don't like it. Um, I don't know. It's just not, it's it's boring compared to some of the other ones. I also tend to like color more, so this is lacking in color, um, which you're going to see. Try it again. Um, this is one of the singing ones, I think, or the music line, because you can see he's holding a microphone and a record behind him. I don't know if they sing. Sorry. <laughs> Um, it's an all-black outfit, and I, I don't see a second outfit. I don't think so. Um, to me personally, it's, it's simple, it's plain, and I would have liked to see more. Then we have Liam. Oh, I, I only thought there was one Liam. Um, this one's nice. I don't mind this outfit. You're gonna be seeing a bunch of the boys first. The second outfit is, it looks just, I don't know, it's not my favorite. This one's not bad. I don't dislike this outfit very much. I think it's cool, and it is one of the dolls that I would like to be able to have and own. Um, but compared to some of the other ones, it is lacking a bit. But nonetheless, I actually really like this outfit. Next... We have Liam again. I'm so sorry, Liam. I really like the hat here. I think the hat's cool. And I do really like this outfit. Um, Again, I feel like they often put, when it comes to male dolls, they either do a suit 
or shorts and he's wearing a short shorts but i really like his top here i think his shirt's nice then we have tika i'm sorry if i say her name wrong this one is also a part of that one that mm, record line i'm gonna call it record i don't know what it's called um she's just in a dress maybe they do come with a second outfit i'm sorry if that other one did i couldn't see it um this one isn't bad i just really like some of her tika's other dolls um and looks and i think this one's lacking then we have tawny i'm so sorry i don't think that's how you say it um i think the second outfit looks really cute here i also really like that coat it does she come with hair oh my god this oh the other it looks like maybe do they both come with i said like a wig i don't know i don't know i didn't really look into the, some of these lines very much this is a cool doll though i think this one they didn't make very many of this doll maybe even just one i don't know we'll see um i i do like the outfit i just think compared to some of the other ones it's lacking a bit whoops okay next we have p pebo is that her name i think i have one of these dolls i don't know if that's right though i think i have a pebo doll <sighs> If you've seen any of my thrift hauls, you can let me know. <laughs> um, but maybe I'm wrong. Anyways, this, I feel like this outfit was kind of hard to find. And after finding it, it was like, ugh, it's not my favorite. I do really like her hair, though. I like when they add a bit of color and a little bit of contrast. I do really like part of the outfit. Like, I think the outfit's not bad. Um, and, like, if we saw this on a doll now, like, I think it would be, like, really good. But I think compared to, again, some of the other dolls and the outfits that they wear, it's just lacking. It's super simple. It's super basic. I don't know much about hip-hop, so maybe that's the thing. But, like, I don't know. There's some other really good looks. Next, we have Peepo. Again, this one is a very glitchy photo. I could not find a real photo of this. So I went onto this Reddit page. Um, if you search, like, every flavors doll um a reddit will come up and it'll show like a photo of every single one and that's what i had to grab this photo off of i literally had to take a picture of my computer screen uh to put this on there i couldn't find a photo of this doll i was literally searching this doll line i couldn't find it um the outfit is super cute like i'm not gonna lie but i think compared to some of like with this line specifically that they did when compared to the other dolls it's very different in my opinion like you don't often see glitter and sparkles on the other dolls but this one they did it they did it here i don't think there's anything wrong with this doll and i do really like what i'm seeing but number one because i can't get a better photo of it and number two because it's so different she's just lower but nonetheless this would be a really cool doll to own then we have Happy D. This might be the one that I have. Not this this doll, but this character. It might be Happy D. I don't know. I don't know. Some of these were hard. I think this one is the one where they changed her hair color a lot, which made me, uh, when I was originally making my list, really difficult to figure out which is which character until I found that Reddit page. Uh, anyways, this is a really cute outfit. Um, I think she actually has micro braids in her hair, um, so I don't know if that's a bit controversial, but... Nonetheless, I really actually like this doll. Um, she's really cute, and even though it's a simple outfit, you can see that other look. I think these outfits are both really cute, and I think they, yeah, I really like them. Again, they're simple, but um, they do the trick. Next, we have Tika again. Her hair is up in the air. I love hair like that. I wish I had short enough hair to, like, do that. Anyways, um, <laughs> I think that this is a really cute look. Um, again, you can't really see the second outfit too well unless, like, it's on the doll. But nonetheless, I think this outfit is super fun, super cute. Um, yeah, I like it. Um, I like the red top and the jeans. I don't know. I really like this line because they use a lot of, like, jeans or sweatpants. I don't know. I really like that, and I wish we saw that in more modern doll lines. Um, but she's also wearing, like, a cute little sweatshirt. I don't know really cute i like this look next we have a two pack there are two two packs so this one is liam and happy d together i don't mind this look i feel like happy d looks a little weird i like liam better which is why it made it higher i don't like happy d's look um the colors are fine but it's like a one piece i think they also come with this motorcycle or something i don't remember um liam's look is really good here 
Happy Days doll is nice. I don't like the outfit, but Liam, oh, I love, I love Liam's pants. I keep, like, going back to it. The jacket, really good, like, also on my hair, but I love the pants. They look so good here. Then we have another Happy D. Oh, the photo is so small here. Um, this one's good. I don't know how to explain why I like it, but I just do. And I like the second outfit that you can kind of see there. I don't know. It's a really cute look. Sorry, that was very short. Next, we have Happy D again. I feel like Happy D was either a fan favorite or the artist, like the creator's favorite, because I feel like there's so many dolls of her. Um... Yeah, I really like this look. I like her hair. I also like these dolls. I think their faces look so good. Um, so some of them are based a lot on their face. But I love her hair. And her outfit is really cute. The jeans and the top. It makes me really want these dolls. <laughs> then we have Peebo again. I feel like this is such a nice one um it looks like her outfit that she's got the second outfit in the back kind of looks like that other outfit that we saw way back there um but i i don't i don't think it is but like it looks wait let's go back um if i can find it okay so i think it's also peebo is it not pretty much the same outfit like it maybe it is the same outfit that they either reused oh now i lost my place i'm so sorry ah uh, okay like it looks a lot like the outfit maybe they just reused it i don't know um but i like the outfit that she's wearing and the other outfit i like the outfit that she's wearing it's really cute even though there's not much color to it and i said i like color i don't know i just think that it looks really nice here um and i like the necklace that she has on it's cute next we have a boy trey see even though he's wearing a jean jacket, like, he still looks really good here, and they, they put different pants on him. I don't know. I really like Trey's boy doll. Like, I think he looks good here, um, the face-wise and stuff, and then also the outfit just looks really nice, and it looks good quality. Yeah, I really like him. Next, we have Liam, and... He's wearing a jacket. One thing that I like about the guys is that they give them jackets, and I wish they did it with the girls. I feel like I've seen some of the girls have jackets on, but, like, we're seeing, like, an undershirt, pants, and a jacket on the boys, and it's like, yes, and then it's like, why don't you do that for the girls? But I really like this, the baggy look and stuff. I really like the, the I was going to say jean jacket. It's not, like, a leather jacket. Leather, probably. Um, I really like how this looks. Um, Next... We've got Trey again. We're seeing a bit more color. I like the blue on Trey. I think that he looks really nice here. Um, yeah, I love the blue on him. And then you can see that second outfit. Um, it looks like shorts and a shirt. You know, mix and match. We got Peebo. Honestly, Peebo would look really good with Liam. Because they both have a black jacket on. I can't tell if hers is leather or if it's just a black jacket, but nonetheless, she's got really nice pants, and they've got the, I don't know what they're called, but the the things that hang on the sides. That was always in Austin Alley, always had, uh, does in Austin always had them, and I was like, I want those growing up. Um, <laughs> side note. Anyways, I really like this outfit here, and then you can see a really simple outfit um, on the side. And nonetheless, even though it's simple and it's lacking color, it still looks really nice, which is why she's ranked higher than some of the other ones. Then we got Tika, and the second I saw these pants, I knew that she was going to make it pretty high on the list. I don't know. I just like the pants, and they've got rips. And, I don't know. Rips and pants are nice. People always say, Ugh pay less for your jeans because I've got rips but I love rips and jeans and this is so many rips um also I think I'm literally saying her name wrong there's an AI T is there actually or did I spell it wrong here <laughs> sorry I'm going back to find one of those because uh, I oh okay I think I spelled it wrong and <laughs> I go oh my gosh have I been saying her name that wrong in this um that like panicked me Okay, now I have to find the spot where I left off. I'm sorry. Okay, I think I just spelled her name wrong. I added an I at the end. Um, I hope that her name is Tika, but it's probably that's probably not how I say it. Um, anyways, I really like this look. And again, it's simple, but it looks good. 
like I don't know when I saw her I was like she looks really nice next we have Kiani I don't know if that's how you say her name she as you can tell had very few at the end like before I don't think there's any I think this is the first time that we're seeing Kiani all her dolls are further ahead because they're so good. She looks absolutely gorgeous here. Do you see her stunning face in this photo? Well, we're not just basing it off the face. Her outfit is absolutely gorgeous. It's red, like a red, we're going to call it like a tracksuit because it has sweatpants and a top. But also that blue second outfit, it looks blue in this photo. If it's not, that's fine. But <laughs> it looks so good. Uh, and her face in this photo, the way that they've taken it, it just looks so good here. Next, we have Happy D again. She's getting some layers with a jacket and a top and a jean shorts. And then you can kind of see a bit of that second outfit. Nonetheless, she looks absolutely gorgeous here. For some reason, she kind of looks short here. <laughs> I don't know if she's just shorter than the others or if this photo is just making her look small. Um, but, like, her midsection, like, looks really small. Anyways, she looks really cute here. Don't have a reason. Next, we have another Happy D. Um, I really like this outfit. The blue pants are super nice. I like when they add a bit of color. Like I said, I can't help it. Um, and then the long sleeve shirt, um, I guess crop top. And then that hat. I don't know. I like when they put hats on the dolls. The hats look really nice. Um, and then you can see a bit of that second outfit as well. She looks really good here. Kiyo, Kiani. I hope I didn't say Kiyomi the first time. Kiani. Um looks really good here i love this look i like that they're mixing up with some colors they're giving her um a jean skirt i almost said jean jacket jean skirt with a white top um and then a white top and it looks like black pants or skirt i can't tell i like that the other one was like colorful but then this one's very simple but still looks really good um i don't know then we have and I spelled her name wrong. <laughs> or I spelled the name wrong the other times. I'm so sorry. Candy and Trey. I put the motorcycle in here. Um, so I put these ones higher than the last one because I like both their outfits here. I think they match a bit more. They're both wearing jeans. They're both wearing a shirt. And they're both wearing a jacket that looks really good. Um, versus the other one, same colors but like not the same. I don't know. This one just turned out way better. I also like the motor the motorcycle. Um I think it looks nice and yeah I would love to have these uh these dolls because they look really good next we have Liam and Liam made it quite high on this list I'm not gonna lie um I don't know I like this look also it looks like he comes with a hair piece too and I kind of love that yeah he looks good here next then we have Peebo and honestly this might be the doll that I actually have um I feel like I'm going to say that until I find her. Maybe I'm wrong. That's fine. Doesn't matter. Peebo. This doll, I debated whether or not I wanted to put her here because I couldn't decide if I actually like this outfit. Um, I do really like the red top, but I also kind of don't. So, I'm debating. It's kind of see-through, which is kind of why I really like it because I think it looks nice. Um... But it also isn't see-through. And it, I don't know. I don't know if I love this look. I like it. And I have debated whether or not I want it at the top. So I left it at the top. Also, I'm just realizing it now. But do they come with tattoos? Is that why it was controversial as well? Because they came with tattoos? I don't remember. I'm not going to lie. It's been a while since I've like heard about Flavas. It's not often that people talk about it. And so I always watch videos when they do. But I don't remember... I kind of remember tattoos, but, like, also don't, so. But you can see some type of tattoo or sticker in here. Anyways, they look a little, like, colorful for them to be tattoos for the doll. So, um, but maybe that's just me. I feel like. But, yeah, they can have color if they want. Anyways. I do really like the red here. I like the jeans. Like, I don't know. This outfit is hard for me to decide if I love it or like it, you know? Next, we have Kiani again. I like her in blue. She looks so good. And the different, like, the hair up, hair down. Oh, she looks so good here. Yeah. I really like this doll. Um, 
uh her second outfit's also cute but i think the first outfit's just better also it looks like her jeans like frill out that is so cute this one is tika and when i saw this this was one that i was like yes i absolutely love this doll i think she looks absolutely amazing i love that the the like the shirt that has stripes like when you can see the sleeves i don't know i just think that looks so cute and she's got really fun jeans and a top on and a adorable blue hat she looks cute next we have tika again yeah same doll tika again and this one's really cute. I like that one. It's not, I mean, they could be jeans, but they're not jeans. They're striped pants. I think that's super cute. Instead of just giving every single doll jeans, you give them different pants. Yeah. Um, she's got a red top and a jacket on, and she looks really good here. Also, the shoes I'm seeing are different. Like, they're given different molds and stuff. Next, we have Trey. Look how good he looks. Um, he looks so good. I love the pants with the patches on them, and I love that jacket. I don't know. I think dolls and jackets are just so good, and that's why I really liked Rainbow High for a while, because they were giving us dolls and jackets. Um, they probably, I don't know if they still are. It's been a while. I'm not as obsessed. Um, but, uh, yeah, I love dolls and jackets. Anyways, next. Sorry, Trey. We have Peebo. This one I really liked. When I saw pebo this doll i was like oh my goodness this one's so good you can see the different color on her skirt and the jacket i also tend to like dolls with like white hair i don't know there's something about it i love white hair it just looks so good i don't know pebo she looks striking here so good but who is at the top who is my number one top favorite flavors doll it's kiani Look at this doll. Look at the red. Look at how gorgeous she looks here. I think that that little bit of pop of color that they have here, it's not too, like, in your face. It just looks so good. When I saw this one, I was like, yes, this one is absolutely amazing, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. So, these are my thoughts and my ranking for Flava's Dolls. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you disagree. Let me know who you would put at the top, who you would put at the bottom. Yeah. Let me know if you know these dolls or ever had them growing up because I did not. But I think they're absolutely gorgeous. Anyways, I'm MacTapad. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.